such a is it a, is it a gaudy or a jotty thoughty? Oh my goodness! Such, such a gaudy thoughty. No, last name is Tomato. they got it wrong, man. That's not what I hey, said. Hey, this is oh, what did I say? <laughs> um, yes, ah, there you go. Said you got your dad's last name Archuleta. But yeah, not no gaudy thoughty last name Gelato. <laughs> <laughs> what is a gaudy thotty, bro? We heard that, we're like, bro. I really? think, I was confused. I think maybe that's a new term. That's I don't want that to be a new term. That's for me, no. A oh. gelati thotty. What the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long journey since, yeah. since the beginning, but uh, I want to take you back to Tumblr dreaming, riding in a Benz. You don't smoke, but it's cool with your friends, Silver City, girl, with your girls on the weekend. A drama, yeah. <laughs> what people don't know, that's some real Canadian shit too. Silver City, Silver I was City, like, I remember yeah. hearing that, I'm like, oh, I'm about to go to Silver City uh, Polo Park in Winnipeg. Like, yo, I, when, I, when I wrote the bar, I didn't think a lot of people would even get it. Like, what's Silver City? But yo, they sing it like they know it. Like, hey, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> what, what about Tumblr? Were you on Tumblr at the time? I used to be a huge Tumblr head. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. I was I was just leaving my Tumblr era. I was like two, three years without going on Tumblr, but like it was still a thing. So yeah, 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 yeah. It was it was cool. Did you have any like manifestation boards on there? Oh my or? god, of course. Of course. <laughs> the drip, you know, the jewelry, the the um, uh, the lifestyle. If I, I wish I could, honestly, I wish I could pull up yeah, old Tumblr dog. Yeah. Oh, it was so good. Good times, man. I can tell that she wants me, but I don't want her. Bear Gow, a pre, something for me. They're all whining. It wasn't they're bad. all whining. That wasn't bad. That, that was close? Yeah, yeah. Bear Gow, a pre, something for me. They're all whining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, with a big boy, we'll get you up there. We'll get you up there, man. Um, we just got Rini up there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Walk, walk us through. What? Oh man, I got a I was. Uh, I just started going to like a lot of parties, and I just started getting popping a lot, and like a lot of things started happening to me, and that was different. Like right? obviously, I was like a huge party head from like in high school, but now I'm going to parties and, like this is not the basement jams anymore, the house parties, you know, like this is in the club with it. Like yeah. I never. I was so far left of all that. Like, it was so brand new to me. So when I was writing, I was writing out of that place of just being brand new to this and like, you know, just getting like recognition for music and everything and getting pop in. And I was just in that, you know, fast life kind of like pace. So I was kind of writing about that, just being in that setting, you know, just being in that setting. Just, I was always throwing parties, bro. Always throwing parties, bro. Like I had condo parties pretty much every weekend, bro. Cause you, you have that line about the AP being at, at your crib, right? Oh, always, yeah. man. Yeah, exactly. That, that the, the inspiration really came from there. Just you know, going to the club, AP, and we had, bro, we had. It's crazy. I just seen Jazz Cartier. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to <laughs> like, Jazz, yeah, homie. Like an hour ago. That's crazy, <laughs> right? But we used to have like all those guys. Like back then, it was Get Home Safe, right? We had all those guys in there. The prime, we had everybody just coming to our parties, right? It was, it was huge, man. It was, it was great. What to yeah. you makes a great party, and was there one that stands out as like the best? party you threw back in the day? I mean, there was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the best? Dang, man. I probably blacked out. <laughs> That's, that was a sign of a good one. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, man. Still 2016. This is, uh, she want to go far, so I told little mama, go long. Hut in brackets. Yeah. <laughs> you wonder why I'm here. I won't be back for long. I gotta make moves. No sleep all week in my room. Got another song to write right now. That song's about you. So <laughs> when when you write a song about a girl, do you let them know ahead of time? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll show them the song. Okay, no, you get their yeah. approval first. No, not even. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really approval. I'm just showing you what I'm writing about. <laughs> you know, so you know I did it. Yeah. Okay. Like okay. What's been the best reaction that someone's given you to a song about them? Ooh, they're not really good. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you put this in here. <laughs> to have a good reaction? I couldn't really tell you because the songs are usually so good. They're not usually the good ones. Yeah, they're they're yeah, usually yeah. The personal. Up. But you want to know what? Like, I've had one reaction. But she was damn near more happy that I said everything. I found her a little crazy. That was your red flag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Still in my life. <laughs> when Ghost Night, you calling me Casper. Could it be that it's not serious to me? I stay with these because it hurt me way more to leave. Cutting ties after hot sex in the bathroom. 
Now that we're over, I won't look at you. Feelings in my stomach like it's high school. I know there's other niggas looking at you. But you can't diss me on my set. You cuss me on my text. Said it's received, but not read. 20 minutes, 20 minutes later, a paragraph or two. Cause I'm only trying to love you. <laughs> that, I asked you about this, the reaction. Does that one seem like a very specific situation? <laughs> where it was the it was the bathroom and the text like yeah. did you show that person the song No actually no I didn't Wow So this song was about two two girls um and I only showed it to one but what this part's about I didn't <laughs> I didn't <show> it. <laughs> Yeah Do you remember what that uh, paragraph text was uh, It's a long time ago Whew. Honestly it was paragraphs I remember a little bit now it was paragraphs, because that's what it would usually be. So it's just paragraphs of just cussing, just, and I'm just like giving a paragraph or two, sometimes one of the responses. Like, it was too much to remember. But it, what I did you do? Paragraphs. That's the real question. To get that type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't sending those out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was, uh, ooh, actually, I can't even remember the situation because there was so much with this girl. But um, I left her. Cause I, I was over it. I was over all the drama, the BS, and you know, she was slamming me with my mans, and I was like, just finding out. But I didn't find out all. It was like, it was a few, cause it was a couple. The team. She was for the whole in, in a sense. <laughs> in a sense. And that's not the, it happened multiple times to me, so I'm glad I don't even care. Yeah. But, <sighs> met by different girls. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, uh, uh, I only found out about one at the time. And then I was like, you know what, I'm done. I'm gonna, uh, uh, you know, do my own thing. And that's when this happened. And it was just the whole she trying to explain her side of the story. That that that's from the boo. Uh, yeah, that's how this happened. Shout out to her. It made for a good song. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> also still in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Amazing. Okay. Oh, Maybe you can confess a hundred Fahrenheit in my room. Maybe you should undress. Uh, this is different for, you know, I, I know the American and Canadian temperatures, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 100. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, is that still correct years later, 100 in your room? I do not keep it that hot anymore. <laughs> 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 it's, like, it's like, well, the bar was really like, you know, it's getting hot yeah, in the room. Yeah. So it's like, you know, but I would keep it at like 80. Yeah, okay. Just okay. on purpose. <laughs> I, I'm a person, I like feeling, I like touchy, you know, very yeah. intimate, so. I love a naked body, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, man, not with the minimum wage. It's 30 bands just to look at my face. Damn, when did I say that? It had to be a while ago. 2020. Damn. So high. 30 Damn. bands just to look at your that's face. That's a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that was like, you know, you're not like obviously making people Venmo you in the street when they walk oh, by. Oh, no, but no, no. This is wanna, if, if they want to book me. Yeah, if they yeah, want to yeah, 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 yeah. That's how it was, so. I mean, I guess I was just flexing. That is a flex. <laughs> that is a flex. What was, what was the first paid show you ever had? First paid show? Yeah. Wow. I was doing a lot of hostings, man. I was doing a lot of hostings at one point. I was doing shows for like a grand to like five grand. Just like walk in and... Yeah, I'd do some. But I would like, I'd do like three, five songs. Okay. And, but I would go hard. Yeah. Right? I would go hard, yeah. Uh, just just going crazy on it, and I think that's what made people like really respect what I do, you know, because that guy would come anywhere and just you know mush it up, like just go crazy. Whether you get a whether, whether it's a in a show concert or a, I'm in a party, like I'm I'm giving you a show, you know. Girl, you free up my mind. It's been a while since you shorty heard me out. One thing that make me smile is my daughter now. Uh, Only thing that pissed me off is the runaround. Uh, me and you both got some stress. We should let it out on each other. We can do it all undercover in your suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> that was <a> polite thing. <laughs> so you're stressed, I'm stressed. You ease my mind right now and I know I ease yours, so let's just mutually benefit. Exactly. What is your your peace and your grounding in your life? Um, definitely family for me right now. I've never been more big on family. That just brings me a different type of peace that I can't find anywhere else. Like everything else, like kind of damn near bothers me. Yeah. My family, like it doesn't matter what, even if problems arise, like I'm always ready to tackle it for my family, you know, rather than anybody else. Cause I don't know, it's just a different type of un unconditional love that I feel like in my life I've been missing because me and my mom, we had so much 
um, clashes growing up when I was like middle, like um, in middle school, like high school, and then even getting like you know older into an adult. Like me and my mom only got good recently, like last two years. So it's been it's been a journey, but that's what I like to hold on to is that you know this, these good moments, these good feelings of you know enjoying these times with my mom and stuff. That's amazing. Yeah. Shout out to moms. Yeah, shout out to moms. <laughs> yeah. And I want to get a bus down, but first I gotta get another one for the team. Yes, sir. Bus baby, don't cuss. You ain't need to focus no more. Said you want love, not lust no more. Said you've been hurt, can't trust no more. Said you want to travel. I'm gonna bring you on tour. <laughs> I love the way you're did, it. It's hilarious. Did you did you bring anyone on tour? Yeah, I have. Okay. Oh yeah, I have. Yeah, over in America, Canada, uh, Europe. Um, they got to go on all. Yes, it was only one girl. It was only one girl. Yeah. She, that's who that was about. Uh, yeah, it was. I took her on the whole tour. Yeah, yeah, it was like me. Oh man. Great times. Good memories. Oh, <laughs> Honestly, I don't even want to think about it because it breaks my heart. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting all sad about it. Hey, this, this one, I don't think you'll get too sad about, but <laughs> such a is it a, is it a gaudy or a jotty thoughty? Oh my goodness! Such, such a gaudy thoughty. No, last name is they got it wrong, man. That's not what I hey, said. Hey, this is this is genius. You gotta get. I'm so up genius. Yeah, for fix up. What <laughs> deal, yo, Doug? What did I say? <laughs> um, said you got it. What, what was it again, man? It's insecure. Ah. Yes. Ah, there you go. Said you got your dad's last name, Archuleta. That's what I said. They really fucked that they one up. What? Uh, I mean, <laughs> most of the time I was doing it? reverse, I would listen to the song and then go find it that one. I was like, no, this just looks crazy. Crazy, bro. <laughs> I actually don't know a girl with the last name Archuleta. Um. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that the only cap in your rap? <laughs> Honestly, you can say that so they don't say. But the thing was, I, I had to use. I liked the word, and it's a football player on the Rams from back in the day. Uh, Adam Archuleta, I believe. Yeah. Or David Archuleta. Uh, good, good safety. He was a good safety. But the name was so like I never seen the name before, right? <laughs> so I'm writing the song. It, it works. So I was like, hey, you know. You know? <laughs> But yeah, not no gaudy thotty last name July. What is that? Why? That's, I'm genius. I know y'all, man. Hit me up. Like, what are you guys doing? That's crazy. That people think that I'm saying crazy shit out here. Go ahead, that one. <laughs> what is a gaudy thotty, bro? We heard that. We're like, bro. I, I think I was confused. I think maybe that's a new term. That's I don't want that to be a new term. Not for me. No. A gelati no. thotty. What the hell is this? <laughs> You know what? I actually have you you read these ones because oh, these shit. ones are these ones I gotta make sure okay. are correct, but these ones are crazy. Hey. Oh baby, you're both creeping. She ain't even in my starting lineup. Hey. <laughs> Girl, you're always on your defense. Miss me like the final shot when time's up. I can fall into no feelings. I fuck who I want, now you ain't my girl. You know what I'm saying? And why you talking to me crazy? You know that I love my peace of mind, girl. All you had to do was write by me. They got ride. <laughs> These mistakes we make, you can't rewind. Fucked your friend, I didn't know, baby, don't mind me. Cause you ain't even a girl I claim is mine. Now listen, yeah. I'm not gonna say you have toxic lyrics all the time, <laughs> but that, that might be one of them. Uh, so sure. she, you weren't even claiming her. She wasn't even top two on the roster. She might have been. A, she wasn't. She, she wasn't even on the roster. Yeah, you just. And she was expecting she anything was expecting more. Way too much. Than just being around you. Yeah, it was, crazy. It's weird. I don't like that. It made me go way. It made me uh, keep way from way more to myself. You know, because yeah. like I don't like that energy. You know? But made for great lines in the song. It really did. I'm thankful for that. So <laughs> you know, I mean, she, she, honestly, she might deserve a spot just for that. No. She, <laughs> I do not think of it. <laughs> what, what are your green flags? What does it take to actually make it up there for you? Um, you have to, oh, oh, yeah, you have to be family orientated, driven, goal driven, um, respectful of like people, yourself, um, and appreciative of the world. In a sense, God fearing. But just believing, right? I don't want. I want somebody who believes yeah. in something. Um, and then you know, stay fine with your fine self. You know, I love a naked body. Well, you said uh, <laughs> you said goal driven. What are some of your 
goals mm. for the foreseeable future? Where do you imagine yourself with the music? Um, I see myself, well, in a few years, top of the chain of this R&B game. Yeah. Yeah, dissing out sounds, people are just like, whoa, I really come up with that. Um, I wish I could make that too type shit. So that's where I'm gonna be at, you know? And um, on top of my business, you know, stay making bread, but I'm gonna be, people are gonna really see like what I do outside of music. And, you know, I'm gonna show them like, I, I stand on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I love, you know, getting money, so. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show them love that. But they're gonna see, and also just, you know, dissing out love to the industry, letting people to know what Toronto is, what the sound is, what it looks like, what it yeah. feels like. Like I'm, I want people to know, so I'm doing my best just to make sure that I'm, you know, getting the, uh, doing as as much as I can for the youth, for the sound, for the people in the city. You know. Yeah. Hey, well, you're already doing it, and I, I know it's only more in the future to come. So it's thank you for right. the energy. I always like to give my flowers. I appreciate thank the you. music. Appreciate you, and uh, you've done a lot already for Canada. So thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Already. Hey, that was fun. Yeah, that was, that was a fun ass interview. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gotti Thotty. The, the Gotti Thotty, yeah. Man. You can keep that water if you want. Flip it, man. <laughs> Crazy. This is Roy Woods with Hip Hop DX, and you guys are watching The Barcode.